Hello everybody, I am Sean from Amomi and today I'm going to be unboxing the Amomi SD. After we've unpacked everything and had a look at all the different pieces, we'll also look at the digital assets that come with it. So let's get it open. Okay, it peels open quite easy. And let's see what's inside. Okay, so in the packet, we've got three things. We've got the module itself, and it's on this foam here to protect all of the components that stick out of the bottom. In a little packet, we've got the two jumpers, and finally, we have this information card here, which we will look at last. Let's take a look at the module. When you take off the foam, you can see we have the module with the, the female headers and male headers here and the SD card module here. Uh, it also has the chip for dealing with the data transfer and a five volt to 3.3 volt regulator for the IC. All right, it's quite a neat package. The jumpers that come with it are for setting the different modes. So to change the mode, we simply put these jumpers on. Now it's in standard mode. We take the jumpers off and we're back in Uno mode. I have a genuine Arduino Uno here, R3. And you can see when it's in Uno mode, this simply pops on like that and you're good to go. Now you can use a memory card with this Arduino Uno and it should work nicely. I've got an SD card over here, although it doesn't come included in the package and you can see that this simply pops in like that and you're good to go. I also have an Amomi Uno. You can see that it fits exactly the same if we take this off, bring it over here, it pops on exactly the same. And it should work with any other Arduino Uno clone, uh, a no-name one or Adafruit or uh, SparkFun, anything like that, it should work just fine. All right, so let's take a look at the information card that comes in it. And here we've got some information about the functionality. We've got some technical specifications. And also we have a URL that we can visit to get the digital assets. So let's take a look at that. The URL will take you to this area where you can see the various things that you can download. You've got the getting started manual, the data sheet, schematic, code and 3d printables and the data sheet has a nice description here about the product some technical specifications compatibility in uno mode and it shows you that it simply connects in uno, in uno mode uh, standard mode and it gives you a wiring diagram for using it in standard mode we have the topology showing all of the different components and there are even links to the data sheets for each specific component on the board for example, if you wanted to learn about the quad buffer IC, you click on the on the icon here under data sheet and it will take you to the specific data sheet for that component. Under here we have the board dimensions and the revision history. The getting started manual gives us a nice description again of what the um, what the module is. And it tells you here about how to select the kind of SD card you're going to buy to use with this and how to format it if needed. So here's the steps for Windows and here's the step for Mac users. Next up, it tells you about connection, but you've already learned about that in the data sheet. And there's a quick link to it here. So once it's connected, it, it talks you through how to make sure it's working with the uh, Arduino IDE how to use one of the example sketches already in the IDE and how to modify it and write some information to the SD card, remove the SD card and plug it into your computer and see if you see if it's worked by just reading the SD card and see if you were able to transfer information from your Arduino Uno or your clone Uno onto the SD card and then actually read it. 
So basically make sure that it's transferring data correctly and that you're able to read it. And it also tells you how to do it the other way, that if you type in information onto the SD card from your computer, then put the SD card into your Uno, and then you're able to read it and display it on the serial monitor. If you click on the schematic one, the schematic will come up and it'll show you exactly how it's all wired together. 3D printables, if I click on case, you can see that I've got the STL file for a 3D printable case. And here's what it looks like. If you're going to print this, you should rotate it this way and print it like this. It's made to print with no supports. So you print it out like that and it will come out looking something like this. Once you've got it, this simply, this simply slides on like this and you've got a nice case for it as well. And the SD card is still accessible just like that and go through. All right, that's about it. Bye.